the cost of living is rising exponentially everywhere. If this hasn't affected you in the slightest way, good for you. But for the rest of us, this kind of inflation is something we have to factor into our budget. I am thankful that I took on minimalism way before the economy took a downturn because it means I don't have to do any drastic adjustments when times are uncertain. More importantly, I don't resent the idea of intentional spending because I've been doing it for a while and it's something I chose to do. On the contrary, if I hadn't come across minimalism, I would probably still cut down on my spendings but with a bit of resentment, simply because it was an act of necessity rather than a personal choice. In this video, I want to share with you the unhealthy shopping mindsets I ditch after taking on minimalism. The first one is outlet shopping. I feel like outlet shopping has always been marketed to us as a way to save money, which sometimes can be true, especially if you have a very specific thing to buy and you've compared prices. However, most of us go to the outlet store without a shopping list. Many times we don't even know what's available there. We kind of just go hoping we would make some kind of savings by spending on things we didn't even know we wanted in the first place. And yes, I'm speaking from experience. Years ago, my husband and I would drive two and a half hours to the Bista Village, which is a very well-known designer outlet center in the UK. We would then spend two days doing nothing but shopping. Between accommodation, eating, drinking, and shopping, we would easily spend thousands of pounds on one single trip. Looking back, I bought a lot of things there because of FOMO. I would tell myself, I don't get to come here every day, so I need to make the most of it by buying as much as possible. Ridiculous, I know, but sometimes you just don't see how crazy something is until you see it from the outside. After minimalism, I've not been to any major outlet shopping centers, and honestly, I've not missed it at all. After becoming a minimalist, I've also completely ditched the idea of retail therapy. Suffice to say, retail therapy is not real therapy, and if it was, it would make the worst kind because it's basically suggesting you need to buy things in order to feel good or be kind to yourself. Now, we all need a bit of pick-me-up now and again, but if you're feeling stressed, tired, sluggish or anything along that line, buying things is hardly the answer. I mean, if you are experiencing negative emotions, you are basically in a very vulnerable state of mind and that is probably the worst time to spend any money. I gave in to retail therapy one too many times myself. Every time I felt stressed, I loved going to Hermes or Chanel because every time I bought something nice for myself, I immediately immediately felt better. However, reality always kicked in a few days later and that's when I realized I had basically made my situation worse by spending a fortune on things which clearly didn't fix any of my problems. Before I move on, I just want to say while it really helps to reduce our outgoings, sometimes there's only so much we can cut before hitting the wall. So to beat inflation, increasing our income is just as important as cutting down on our spendings. Especially in this day and age, so many people are now building their side hustles with the hope to diversify their incomes. I think one thing the pandemic has shown us is solely relying on our day job can be risky. On that note, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is a fantastic online learning community where you can learn about setting up a business, art, filmmaking, photography, illustrations, and so much more. I love the community here because everyone is here to learn. I recently took a class by Colette Perry and it's called Quick and Easy Stop Motion. With stop motion, you can bring any objects to life and create a really animated and interesting video. The class only took about 20 minutes and now I can create my very own animated videos with the simplest setup. This kind of skill can come in really handy, whether if it's for a school project, 
promoting your business, or creating a social media page. There are so many classes on Skillshare, and even if you just take one class a week, there's so much to explore and learn. If you're interested in trying out Skillshare, I have a link down below, and the first thousand people to use it will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership for one month. Moving on, Another unhealthy shopping mindset I've ditched after taking on minimalism is feeling obliged to shop on every single special occasion. I used to spend hours in the shopping mall trying to look for the best present for myself, whether if it was Mother's Day, my birthday, wedding anniversary, and so on. Typically, I wouldn't leave until I made a purchase. I now find this whole thing a bit ironic because special occasions are meant to be spent with our loved ones, not the sale associates. Now, if you've been eyeing on something for a while and you plan to buy it on a special day, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but just don't let the calendar pressurize you into buying something that you don't really want or need. We now celebrate special occasions in the simplest ways, for example, a nice meal or a good movie. I feel really content and I have no formal for not shopping on my birthday. Another unhealthy shopping mindset I've happily ditched after becoming a minimalist is restricting myself to luxury skincare. Throughout my teenage years, my skincare routine was minimal because that was what I could afford. So as soon as I started making a living, I tried to make up for it. For about four to five years, I only used luxury brands like La Mer, Dior, Estee Lauder, and so on. Now they do some amazing products, but I certainly bought them with the wrong mindset. I thought expensive always meant better. So I religiously put on layers and layers of really heavy products on my face. Eventually my skin had enough and I started breaking out. Things got really bad and I had no option but to see the dermatologist. She then put me on some heavy medications and recommended me to really tone down on my skincare routine. I was skeptical at first because a lot of the products she recommended were the very affordable drugstore products, but it wasn't long before I was converted. I'm now really open to trying out the cheaper alternatives. In fact, it's actually really satisfying to find something that works just as well, but only costs a fraction of the price. For example, this Hamish cleansing balm is amazing and it costs about £12, whereas the one I used before was about three times the price of this. I also used to use the Lamia lotion, but I've replaced it with this Blythe serum. This works beautifully and is £100 cheaper. Quite similarly, I've also let go of the idea of having to dress myself in designer brands from head to toe. Quite often, you see me carrying my Birkin bag while keeping everything else cheap and cheerful. Because who's to say you can't carry a designer bag while wearing a t-shirt from Topshop or shoes from Vans? The thing is though, if you follow luxury or fashion related content, you might get the aura that you have to live up to a certain image just because you own a certain designer handbag. Sometimes the pressure might feel so overwhelming and we start caving into the Diderot effect. This is a term that describes the phenomenon where when we buy something nice, we tend to want to buy more and more nice things to go with it. I personally find it really helpful to define my own saves and splurges for my own wardrobe. That way, I know I'm setting boundaries for myself and I won't go down this rabbit hole where even my socks have to be LV or Gucci just because I own a Birkin or a Chanel classic flap. Now, everyone is entitled told to their opinions, but if you're paying your own bills, you get to decide what you buy or not buy. So those are the ways minimalism has helped me to want to spend less. Again, I'm just really thankful I'm no longer the shopaholic I once was. It's certainly helping to buffer the impact of this inflation. If you have any other good tips to suggest, please share them down below. Thank you for being here today and I will see you in the comment section.